Previously on The Walking Dead. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No! You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! You son of a- ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Hello, this is Coleman. Welcome back to my Let's Play of The Walking Dead. This is Season 1, Episode 4, Around Every Corner. Well, we just saw there was a recap of what happened in the last three episodes. Especially the last one, so... If you haven't watched... But yeah, the music just got really loud for a second then. <laughs> if you haven't watched the last uh, three episodes, I do recommend checking those out first. So, just so you don't get confused. Because it seems a bit weird just jumping in halfway through. But, yeah. Um, if you did get a good enough idea of what the last three episodes were about, then tune right back in. So, basically, what what happened in the last episode was a few people died. We found a train. Uh, we met Omi and Chris and Chuck. And Clementine's radio went off. And somebody was speaking to her on the other side, and they know where we're going, which is Savannah, to get a boat. So yeah, that was pretty much the best five-second summary of what happened in the last episode, just in case you didn't watch it. And yeah, we're in Savannah now, so yeah, Richie looks about as dead as I expected it. Really? <laughs> um, episode 4, around every corner. So yeah, we got this episode, and then the episode 5, and then that's us finished with season 1. I won't be playing season 2, 3, or 4, because this is the only season... I like season one and two, but season three and four I don't really like. But I only want to play season. I only want to play this season because my one is my favorite, and I just wanted to do a little series on this. So yeah. Can't I just hold it? Uh no. <laughs> Look at that fucking. Look at that fucking face. Um. Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Um... You're right, we're sort of keep moving. Uh, Kenny, how much further? Yeah, we, do, we don't actually know how much further we need to go. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? It sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. Oh, shut up, Ben! What the hell? And also, Ben was working with the bandits because we got basically kicked out of the motor in for some bandits. And he's been this working with them. Not so dead after all. And, um... Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. And that got Kenny's family killed pretty much. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? In it. And what... Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Um. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm just getting a little punchy, you know? I'm. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Uh, hello? 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 Are you there? What the hell? What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? Zombies! For thee. Found them! Zombies! I knew this would happen!
Uh oh. Uh, run. Everybody, run! All right, let's go. Oh, damn. Yeah, stay close to me, Clementine. Ooh! <laughs> My oh, God, Kenny, no! Kenny! Oh, no, don't have you die on me now. There you go. You're too close. Don't you think? Ben! No, Ben, help her! Go on, Ben! Oh, Ben, you son of a... Jesus Christ, Ben. Hold on. What the hell's going on here? Uh, boom. Uh, boom. Uh, boom. I can't aim. Jesus, I can't even aim. No, 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 no. Nice one, Chuck. That was dip. River Street's right up ahead. That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break. Wait, where the hell's Tuck? Oh, shite, he's over there. Oh, shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. What do we do? Do we have, like, a choice? There's no time. We gotta go. Now. How do we die? Just go. Well, what? We don't even get a choice. Well, that's peak, isn't it? I wanted to save him. Last well, sucks, wouldn't it? <laughs> this game never like eases it eases you into the action. It just happens like that. Usually at the start of these episodes, or something goes wrong, so quick as well. Oh yeah, push me off a bridge as well. <laughs> you okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things um, outside figure out where we went. I'll find a way in. Can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Bl all right, so we have to try finding a way into the house. All right, that makes sense. Um, is there anything around here? Or oh, pet door. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> All right. So, where's the dog? Probably dead. Oh. Oh no! Don't tell me we're gonna be digging up dead dogs. We're like not even ten minutes into this episode. Christ's sake! Never Don't tell me we're gonna be digging up a dead dog already. Oh no! <laughs> we literally just started the episode and I'm already digging up a dead dog. Hey, Jesus! Be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Hopefully a dog. Cause we need the damn dog. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh I don't know. It's been here a while. Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You I can smell it from here. Gross. Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Yeah, so you don't have to smell the dead dog. Yeah, he's been down though. Oh God, the smell. He's been down that long time, hasn't it? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Can't get it off. Oh. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're- I said I'm fine, okay? Yeah, the disgusting doggy. Well, oh, RIP dog, well, you're gonna help us get inside anyway, so... Yeah, thanks, dog. Thanks, Fido. No, I don't wanna talk to these guys. 
I've got a way in now, so we can get inside, so Quitzer can stop moaning. <laughs> uh, there you go. There goes nothing. Yes! God damn! Noise! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Oh, here they come. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Mm. Oh, crap. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... <laughs> um, are you okay? Clem, are you okay? Say something! Uh, good job. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. We can't scold her for doing that. Yes, you did. You did good. We can't Can scold her for doing something good. Inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Of course it is. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. There you go. Well, it's one way to get in, I guess. Well, it, it had to be cut behind, didn't it? We, c we couldn't fit in ourselves, could we? Well, Ben could have fit in, probably. I'm not sure. I don't. Probably not, but I think if it wasn't for Clementine, he'll probably have to do it. Oh, nice house. Bit dark though. That's probably just this game, though. This game's gonna be quite dark. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. Um, you didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I only found out yesterday. I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that, that makes sense. Make a lick well, of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that kind and of. then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. Yeah, like no one else is going to have a working boat and follow you. Omid needs to rest. Um, I'm with Kenny. I'm with Kenny on that. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head to the river together. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not going to wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Alright, so we have to check downstairs. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. <laughs> um, alright, so we have to... Okay, let's look downstairs, and then we'll go from there. Bottle of whiskey... I don't think we should get... Uh, because the last episode we had a... Well... Uh, Kenny, Chuck, and myself had a lot of that, so it's not bother going. We're not doing that one again. Come on. I'm s I wish it wasn't run, but I should have been used to it by now. This is episode four out of five, so I should be used to it not having a run button by now. But you know. Nothing hiding in here. Uh, what was going? Here? Going here. I right, three, two, one, boom. Okay, nothing in here. All clear in here. 
Okay, I think we got one more door left, do we? Or how many doors do we have left? Just one more to check. Oh, one more. Oh, okay, I was right. All right, let's go. I wonder, like, some portraits, some, some other stuff in here. Um, the door to the, to the back door. There's one upstairs where Kenny and Ben are. All right, let's go. Jesus! Bloody hell. What? What happened? It's nothing. Just, uh, nothing. Well... Place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, nothing. Sorry. I found some whiskey if you want that. <laughs> she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Excuse me. Just got another drink on me. Um, go ahead, Clem. Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying? Have you ever watched some internet safety videos just in case? Krista, be careful. I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. Oh, no, 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 nice. no. I think he wants to help me find them. No, he's a he's a P E D O. <laughs> Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Oh, no. Did he off himself yet? No, I'm joking. Well, family is dead, so. Yeah. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Okay, let's go. Um, hold up. Okay, so this, we're going up to the attic. I don't, I'm, I'm dreading to see what he's got up there. I don't want, I don't want to know. Because <laughs> there's nothing good. Hello? Kenny. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. What? Oh, no. Oh! Oh no, the boy up here is a boy zombie. Zombie boy. He can't even walk. He can't even walk properly. Kind of looks like Duck, don't he? Yeah, kind of. The kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can I'll do it. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Oh no. We're gonna have to. Kenny's stuck with grief over his son's death. Well, his son, his wa son's and wife's deaths anyway. Hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Yeah, it could have been, actually. Now I think about it. Let's use a gun, why not? There may be a dumb way of doing it, but... I'm sorry. Look how skinny it was. There's like nothing to his arms. <laughs> he chose to do. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I know I chose to do it myself. I'm not that stupid. I'll take care of it. Oof. Poor Kenny, man. 
Yeah, I've just got a drink, a drink so if, I, if you hear me slipping down the background, sorry about that, but, you know, I'm trying to do it quietly, but it just doesn't want to go do it quietly. Does it, it just doesn't want to do it. Oof. It's all foggy now, what the hell happened? Um, I was head over here. Are we going to bury him with the dog? You, they always say, um, dogs are a man's best friend, but in this case, dogs are a boy's best friend, I guess. Well, it kind of, it's kind of the same thing anyway, but it's just a bit different. Oh, don't tell me I have to bury him. So, not, so far, in about 21 minutes, I've dug up a dead dog, and now I'm digging, I'm burying a dead boy. All great at the start of the episode. <laughs> We're not even half an hour in yet. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boy. Look at him, man. It just looks wrong on many levels. I right, dig him up. Oh no, Crimatine, don't watch. <laughs> You're not making this look any better. Yeah, go, yeah just go, go back inside. <laughs> You don't make me feel any better by doing this. I'm not gonna joke. Yeah, 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 Chris. Yeah, go back inside. <laughs> but yeah, I already feel bad enough. You don't have to make me feel even worse. I hate, I, I hate the fact that it makes me do it. Okay, nearly there. One more should do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yo. Hey! Hey! Where's he running off to? Um, who are you? Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. He looks like a man. I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with Kenny. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well then hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No, Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Looks like a mad echo then, um... Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. <laughs> Why would you leave with, 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 with Ben? Ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs. I didn't know there's like a mad echo going on during that scene. I'm not gonna lie. So you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Ben, I'm not gonna lie, but what could happen when you did what happened last time you take care of Clementine? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. No, you can't. Just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. 
You trusted Ben to look after Clem's hand. Well, that's not really a, I don't know why I should be proud of that. What happened last time? But you know, let's go. Let's go with it anyway. Right, so now we're going to find ourselves a boat. To be fair, I've been looking forward to this for a while. So yeah, I'm going to try and find ourselves a boat. Nice town. Is that a car with no wheels? That open to that. Kenny's so miserable now. What the hell? <laughs> Awkward. Be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? Um, don't know. I have no idea, but someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. No, he's. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Now let's get out of it. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. What? Oh no! There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. I don't like any of the options. Oh, Kenny, give me strength. One might still be salvageable. Seriously? Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? <laughs> I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. There you go, finish. You can find. <sighs> okay. Got my full attention again. Alright, so I have to try... I don't even know what I'm trying to do then. So basically, we need to find something along this waterfront. Uh, I don't know what. Um, basically, to try and look out for something for, but I have no idea. I was too distracted, but... What the hell is that? What the hell? Whoa. What happened here? Jesus. Jeez. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Oh, Jesus. Oof. Sucks for you guys. Um. Damn. Right, who would actually do something like that? That's kind of sick, isn't it? Um, okay, let's look at this telescope. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Damn it, we have to look for a quarter. Alright. Now, where would a quarter be? Um, I actually don't know where a quarter would be. Maybe in here? Well, the cash registers, there has to be something. Fingers crossed. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. God damn it! Um, 
Uh, where, would that, where would it be? Where would one be? Oh, newspaper machine. Maybe this might have something in it. Marked. Crap. Oh, we can bash it. Noise! There you go. Alright, so now we'll head back over to the thingy and see what we can see. Uh, we can try and... I don't even know what we're trying to look for. We're trying to look for something. Uh, well, it's not possible, but because that boat's buggered. The one can... What the? What's right? up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. Well done, Kenny. You can't fix it? Now you realize that? What the... What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Right, um abandoned like every other place in this city. Um is there any uh, anything else over here or oh there's something there? No way that one's salvageable. Crap. The Talmud Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Um is there anything else? Um I don't think there is. Wait, what who's that? Who is that? Oh crap, that's not good. Get down. Get down. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Uh, sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. I don't like what he mean. I don't like what he means by that. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. I thought like this is gonna go horribly wrong, but let's give it a go anyway. Uh, wait, where did he go? He just stopped. All right. You think you're gonna escape from me? What the? Where did he go? Oh hell no! Oh nice! Oh! <laughs> Goodbye, boy. Where the hell? What's Crumb doing it? You're not from Crawford. Of course not. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Mind if I get up? Slowly. Get Kenny so high, Dick. Get your girl then. Oh no. <laughs> she knows it. Um Get her. Oh well done, Kenny. No, he's with us. Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. Eh. <laughs> you guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? Of course we're not. Uh, what's Crawford? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Not really, but why not? Sure. 
When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Like what? Jesus! What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. Bloody hell. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. That's Jesus horrible. Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. God. Yeah. Damn. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To what? Well, they basically put them on them. To be a drain on their precious resources. God. That's mad, isn't it? Everyone in Savannah knew what was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Damn! That's horrible, isn't it? God. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. <laughs> I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. Yeah, that's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Looking for a bow, innit? Came down here looking for a bow. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? For God's sake! <laughs> so now what? Shit. Since well, our plan's out the window. Boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Oh no, the zombie's right. back! Right. Damn it! Thanks, Kenny. That was your fault. <laughs> Isn't that the, the way we came? Fuck! Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a? Ah, oh, she ran off. Bloody hell! Bloody hell! She's like a parkour gymnastic over here. Um. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not getting eaten. Oh, I fed off. What about us? What about you? Please, you can't just leave us. In the help us out, fam. Look at the child in that. <laughs> Come on, make it fast. Come on. Oh, fuck me. Come on, come on, hurry. Come on, Kenny, get up. Come on, big man! Up you get! Crap! No! Um. Alright, let's move this. We have to be quick. Come on! Go, 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 go! Oh, this is, today it just isn't my day at all. Come on, Lee! 
Get your ass out of there! Come on! Uh, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open! Oh, nice! Thanks, Molly! Let's get that! And then come on, spam X! Go, 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 go! Whew! That was a close one! Damn! That was actually a close one! Ow! <laughs> Sucks for you, nerds! <laughs> Phew. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. But where is the... Which way is the way to the house? I have no idea. <laughs> Shit. God damn it. Well, let's head down these stairs. Where are we even meant to go? I have no idea. Um, what's this? Oh, so I'm not going through that. All right. Um, okay, maybe down here. All right. Come on. <laughs> well, that's one way of doing it. I always have to find a way to get down than just doing it that way. Um, what's this? Oh, drainage pipe. What's over here? I can't see anything. Oh god, zombies! I'm gonna have to be quick. Um, in it. I have a gun, don't I? I can use that. Um, which way should I pull it? I think I'd right, maybe? There you go. Is he trying to eat the water? Maybe I can pull that off and put it on the thing. Shit. Well, that's not very helpful. Maybe I can pull this off. And then uh, find a way to um, put it on the other thing. On the other drainage pipe. Um, what? Well, okay, use this. Boom. Uh, let's get out. We have to do this quick though, because there are zombies around here. So we have to do this quick as I can. Go, 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 go. And um, pull it right. There you go. Boom. Wait, what's the, what are they eating anyway? Right, let's go. Let's hide. And then we're going to have to wait here until they bug it off, I'm guessing. Alright, just wait for a sec. And then wait for the perfect time. Okay, there's more coming. I hate that. I hate the red mist in front of it. It makes it more scary. Just wait for a second. Okay, I think now's a good enough time. There you go. Nice, and then let's go. Let's dash. Oh, that's Chuck! No! Oh my God, Chuck! You must have tried to hide out down here, poor bastard. No, Chuck! No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. No! I like Chuck. Damn! Right, let's go. I think we should use this, the, the hook thing. Because that'll make things a bit easier. Oh no! Crap! Get off me! I need to make sure to, to do this. Because then it'll be quieter so the zombies don't get attracted. Yeah, there you go. Get off. Uh, there you go. Boom! Right to the skull. 
Mein Name ist Depp. Ähm, um, yeah, for go pay. Maybe, um, try and get up there. Three, two, one. Pop, wall jump, Mario style. Ow. That worked, didn't it? <laughs> that worked. <laughs> right, let's go. Alright, let's go! That was really convenient, a massive hole being there, but... <laughs> a fallout shelter. The hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Anyway, I think that's going to be the perfect time to end off this first episode of episode 4 of The Walking Dead. So yeah, I hope you really have enjoyed this episode so far. I'm enjoying it really so far. So yeah, I hope you tune back in the next episode where we're going to go through this door over here and see what good he's up to, up to then. But yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed this first part. Don't worry, another part will coming out very soon. But yeah, for now, thank you very much for watching everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.